Hello, good morning. This is Terry Allen, Radical Progressive, and I need to show you guys something. But first, I need to say that I just saw that AOC is asking or suggesting, maybe demanding, I don't know, that Schumer and Pelosi, they need to go. So I think she's listening to Jimmy Dore because a lot of us called into our congressmen and senators and demanded that Pelosi bring Medicare for All to the floor for a vote or she's out. Because we, we the Democratic Party is a ship of fools. These, these centrist, Wall Street loving, elite loving scumbags are destroying this country, they're destroying the working class, and we need to get the progressives to take over. We're starting the People's Party, peoplesparty.org. But let me show you something. This is a typical underpass in Los Angeles. A very typical. We have this situation all over this country. And something needs to be done about this shit. Okay? We need housing for the homeless. We need Medicare for all. We need stimulus package for everyone. This is an outrage. This is America. This is what we have become. This is unbelievable. So take a look, take a good look. You want to live like this? Because you're going to end up like this very soon. Yeah, hold on a second. I'm with the uh, Justice Democrats, and we're trying to get homeless um, uh, housing for the homeless. And so, I wanted. Can I ask you a few questions? Is that okay? How How did you end up in this situation? Were you evicted from your apartment? How did that work? No, because I was abused in my house. Oh, okay. Is it okay if I put take a video of you? Okay, I won't. Um, we're trying to solve this problem. America is. It's because people aren't here because they want to be. You know, no, of course not. not here because they're, and they're not everybody is a I know. And really, they work and we do this on the day we cycle. They work. But some of us can get, I guess it's true. I don't work because it's a hard part because it's tired. Uh -huh. And I've had a heart attack over here too. So it's like, you know, and the rent's so expensive, dude. It's like really, really expensive. I know. I was homeless for six months, so I know exactly what it's like. It's it's really messed up. And once you get evicted, you can't get an apartment. Oh, yeah, exactly. I had a hell of a time finding a place. And I was working the whole time. I, I got evicted. I got evicted one time, too. It's, this is an outrage. we got to do something about this. We, we just, this, this is unacceptable. So I'm trying to, to get people to see the reality of what's going on here. Yeah, they already have some people under some mother bridges and they haven't helped us. I know. Yeah. Like we're the we're the we're the forgettable. Yeah. Well, I'm doing what I can. We're putting on YouTube. We're trying to get everybody to to see what's going on and trying to push Congress because they're not doing crap. They're doing nothing. And we're gonna have what maybe another 20 million people homeless soon because of the because of, yeah because of well no because the Congress. Is not do anything to help people. We, we, we get <coughs> check from Florida every two weeks. Yeah, this is unbelievable. All right, well, I need to just take yeah, a picture. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can be okay, what's your name? Betsy. Betsy. Okay, I'm I'm gonna do what I can. All right. Hello. Thank so, are you working? Do you have a job? He's unemployed, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, it's going to be tough, but we're trying everything we can. All right, well, I appreciate it. Guy that lives here? 
Okay. Okay. All right, Betsy, thank you. I don't know if you could hear that, but these people are not here because they don't want to work. Most of the people here actually work, have jobs, or are unemployed and do pick up stuff for recycling to survive. And that's total bullshit. I mean, is this, this is America? Seriously? So any of you that are working, and you don't give a shit about what's going on, you got your job. You know, that's the Republican way of thinking. Well, these people are all just lazy and, and they don't want to work. Screw you and your bullshit. Your, your holier-than-thou attitude. Because this, these people are not here because they want to be. It's because they have no choice. So something has to be done. All right? Something has to be done. All right, I'm going to cross the street because we got the other side to look at too. All right? We still got lots of problems. This this is a typical underpass in Los Angeles. This is typical. And as Betsy was saying, these people are not here because they want to be. It's because they have no choice. It's an outrage. And this is just one underpass. What has this country become? And Nancy Pelosi with her $24,000 refrigerator eating ice cream saying, we feed them, we feed them. That's absolute bullshit. <clears throat> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Something must be done. Something has to be done for these people. Hi. Um, do you, are you working? Do you have a job? Or are you unemployed? No, I'm unemployed because I got hurt at work. This is insane. This is crazy. This, you guys don't want to be here. You know, we're trying to get housing for homeless. We're trying to get um, a stimulus package again, and unemployment money. Uh, so you uh, are unemployed because you got hurt at work, and you probably didn't have any insurance, right? No, I had a workman's comp. Workman's comp? Yeah. But that doesn't... I think you have to go. Yeah. They've kind of made a, a little bit of a house here for shelter because it's starting to get cold at night. So wake up, America, and see what Congress and Senate are doing. Watch, Jimmy Dore had a, an economist on yesterday on his show, and they were talking about how the economy doesn't work the way we're being told. If you, if the Congress wants money to do something, it's called a keystroke up, where they just go into the computer and throw a couple of zeros in with a decimal point, and suddenly the military industrial complex has plenty of money. Suddenly, we can go to war. Suddenly, we have, we have the ability to give tax breaks to the billionaires and the millionaires. But whenever it comes to social programs or things for the working class, what do you hear? Oh, how are you going to pay for it? Well, screw you. We know how we can pay for it. If we can afford war and death and destruction, then we can afford to house the homeless. We can afford to get stimulus. We can afford to help Americans, our brothers and sisters. 
So this is what America has become. And we're sick of it. And we're going to do something about it, by God, if we have to go circle the Congress and the Senate, the Capitol building, and drag these bastards out and send them home and start over. We need a revolution in this country. This is just not acceptable. All right, so I'm going to go. And uh, this is Terry Allen, Radical Progressive. And I will do another video tomorrow. All right, thank you. Okay, I just got back from visiting the little tent city on Parthenia Avenue at the underpass of the 405. That's just one underpass. This, this is going on all over Los Angeles. Thousands and thousands of homeless people. And why is this happening? Well, you've got the Republican mentality, and we know the Republicans. We know exactly what they stand for. And they'll tell you what they stand for. Taxes for uh, tax breaks for the wealthy and cutting social programs and services for the poor and the homeless and screwing the middle class because they still buy into this insane economic idea of trickle down. It's called trickle on, actually. This is an outrage. The American people need to see this with their own eyes because 20 million of you are going to end up just like this very soon when the moratorium is lifted on evictions and foreclosures. And the Democratic Party sits on their hands and will do nothing. They actually could do something and they won't do anything. Jimmy Dore is demanding that the progressives <clears throat> stand up to Nancy Pelosi and tell her that if she doesn't bring Medicare for All to a vote on the floor of the Congress, of the House, then she's out. We are not voting for her anymore. The Democratic Party is dead. No ideas. The DNC and the elite that run the Democratic Party are just like the Republicans. When it comes to economics, they there's no difference. When it comes to war, there's no difference. The only difference is the virtue signaling, oh, look at us. We, um, like Joe Biden, is selecting women on his, in his cabinet. Probably because he wants to smell their hair and grab their breasts. Because he's a sick, sick man. And he's been in office for 40 years. And he has pushed or voted for every bad policy in this country. NAFTA, the crime bill, the welfare bill. bill. He, for, he pushed the Iraq war. When he was the VP for Obama, he helped push <clears throat> the destruction of Libya. Syria, Iraq, Iran. He's for these sanctions. The People's Party has to work. We need a coalition of labor, the Green Party, the uh, independents. We can take this system back. <clears throat> Don't be discouraged. You can be angry all you want. But a bloody revolution is going to be hard to win, my friends, my brothers and sisters, because we are up against really heavy-duty, high-powered firepower with the military and the police, and it would be almost impossible to win. Millions would die. So we're going to have to do it at the, at the ballot, at the voting booth. But because the Democrats and the Republicans are both so corrupt that they've manipulated the election and forced Joe Biden and Kamala Harris down our throats, what do you think about this last video? I could show you a thousand other underpasses in this, in this city. 
I can go downtown. You want to see a tent city? Let's go downtown. South downtown LA. I'm going to go down there this weekend. I'm going to get to make a video. And let's see what you think. Is this the America that you're proud of? Is this the America that you're a patriot for? And you condemn me for condemning the Congress and the country for allowing this to happen? You, you conservatives call me a communist and a socialist. I'm a capitalist, but I am a capitalist with social programs and social regulations so that the, the billionaires can't just rape the society and take everything out of it, which they are doing now. Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, which during the pandemic, the height of it, when everything was shut down, people were buying everything off of Amazon. That bastard has, is worth $500 billion now? It's said that he may be the first trillionaire. Now, does, does the, he deserve that much money? No. When you've got a homeless situation like this, and the Congress and the Senate allows people like Jeff Bezos to roam around and be glorified, that is a crime. It's a crime against humanity. As I said before, we always have money for war. <clears throat> Anytime we want to bomb a country back to the Stone Age, we always have plenty of money, and no one ever asks how we're going to pay for it. When the banks need a bailout, because they have screwed over the American population, created a bubble, and then when it pops, they go running to Congress for a bailout. It's called social economics for the rich. But for the rest of us, rugged individualism. These, this video that I just showed you, the Republicans will say that these people are lazy and they don't want to work and we're not going to help them. Bullshit. I spoke with a few people over there. They don't want to be there. They hate the situation they're in. But they have no choice. They've been evicted from their homes. <clears throat> Where are they going to go? What are they going to do? The problem is the economy is falling apart. We don't have good jobs anymore. When students, college students, with saddled with huge amounts of debt, can't get a job, can't pay back their debts, they have to live with their mother and father. This, the Congress and the Senate are corrupt criminals. You've got a cabal of war criminals there, and they all pat each other in the back and virtue signal and talk about how wonderful they are and all the stuff they're doing, and they're not doing shit for the 99%. They're giving it all to the 1%, the people that need it the least. What has come upon this country? It's an oligarchy. It is parasites that are sucking the blood out of this country. They are sucking the blood out of the working class and the poor. This is the reverse Robin Hood effect. And it's an outrage. It needs to end. Or we have a bloody revolution coming on our hands. And I'm going to be right there. Uh, there's things that are worth dying for. And that's one of them. To turn this country around and take it back from the oligarchy and give it back to the 99%. Because this country, if you read the Constitution and the, the Declaration of Independence, you will find that this government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. Not for the oligarchy, not for a king. We are headed for feudalism. That is the the end result of unbridled, unregulated, vulture capitalism. That's what you've got. So if that's the country that you're proud of, 
If that's the country that you're a patriot of, then you're an idiot and a fool because you are brainwashed into thinking that this is just the way it is and these homeless poor people are just there because they're lazy. It's lies. It's a fraud upon the American people. The problem is the American people don't read anymore and they don't know history and they don't see what the labor movement has done in the past. How do you think you got a four hour work, a 40 hour work week? How do you think you end up with health care and, um, and vacations? Because the labor movements pushed it, pushed it on the government, demanded it. Even Franklin Roosevelt said, make me do this. The social programs they came up. He told his rich friends that if you don't give up some of your money, they're going to take all of it. Well, that's what we need to do today. Let's go to the Capitol building. Let's surround it. Let's scare the shit out of these people over there. These criminals that are running our government and running this country into the ground and giving everything to their rich friends that live in Martha's Vineyard and in their flying around their lidgets. I personally don't think that there's any human being on this planet that's worth a billion dollars. I would set a cap of $999 million per person. That's, that's it. That's all you get. Anything more needs to go back into the system because the system is this way because the 1% is looting it, is taking it. Destroying the infrastructure because nobody's building it. You know, the top highest speed trains in the world are in Europe and China and Japan. There's none here. Why don't we have high speed rail? That's a rhetorical question. So I'm going to close. I just want you to think about the situation that we're in. Things are rapidly changing. There is now possibly a, a bill coming up that may pass, which is going to be some stimulus, possibly a check, and maybe a little extra for unemployed. It looks like Mitch McConnell is backing off on the, the shield for corporations, and that shield is to shield them against lawsuits for negligence and for people getting COVID and dying. Now we already have rules for that. If a company is negligent, they can be sued. So I don't know how that bill is gonna protect them. I guess this, you know, that's the typical Republican BS. Let's protect the corporations, even if they're negligent, even if they commit crimes, Oh, isn't this frustrating? It's, we're coming up to Christmas. It's supposed to be a joyous occasion. And it just, everyone is angry. Everyone is sick. Everyone is tired of a government that doesn't do anything for the people. Only for the 1% and the super rich. So, I'm going to close. That's it for tonight. We will speak soon. Merry Christmas. This is Terry Allen, the Radical Progressive. Have a good night.